Welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I will introduce uh, Neverland's proof. Neverland's proof of uh, pi, right? Pi, pi, the famous 3.1 for something is irrational. All right. So I hope to uh, give every details and uh, every logic uh, argument, and I will do it step by step. Okay. Hopefully, it will be easy. Okay, so the the first step is that the the cell the usual step is that I need people need to assume pi is a divided by b. So we use proof by contradiction. Let's assume pi is rational. Okay, and then by definition, you know that uh, pi is the circumstance divided by two times diameter, uh, the diameter, right? So it's so by definition, you know that pi is greater, uh, pi is positive, right? And the pi is greater <laughs> greater than one. Okay. So this is the idea that uh, you need to at least assume. So I can assume that AB is both positive. Okay, so let's say f of x x x to the power n. So let's take n is a positive integer. That's x f of x to be x to the power n. Let's say called a minus bx to the power n divided by n factorial. So let's consider this uh, arbitrary function called f of x, uh, which is parameterized by an integer n. Okay, so the next step is that uh, uh, what should I do? I define a large capital F of x to be f of x minus f of double prime plus four to, uh, power four. Uh, sorry, the the first derivative minus f six derivative. That keep going, right? Because but the f of x is polynomial of two n degree, so it at most is this one. Right, it most go to uh, minus two n. Uh, sorry, I think it's minus. 1 to factor n to an x. Okay, so this is the idea that f of x should be, right? So I define a uh, large capital F. Okay, so the step I want to first show, the first statement I want to show, so this I call it claim 1. Claim 1 is that f0 is integer. Okay, so the reason is that uh, the reason is that uh, let's see uh, what's the fk of x and put x is zero. Right, so this is zero. So let's consider two uh, two region, right? One is if k less than n, right? So if you see, uh, what is the uh, first turn of? Uh, so the first turn in x should be x n a f n n factorial, right? Plus something x n plus one n factorial plus something x n plus two n factorial right so if k less than n right there there will be remaining x so right if k derivative will be zero right if k log greater or equal to n then you see every term will at least produce n factorial right so we will get get some k factorial n factorial and by something right uh, I'm stupid, right? So, if you do a case derivative, then you get k factorial divided by n factorial, and also some integer, right? Some integer. So it's so total is uh, integer, right? So it's integer. Right. So every term is an integer. Okay. So f of zero is an integer. Next is f pi of pi is an integer. And the reason is that uh, f of zero, sorry, uh, let's say small cap, uh, lower lowercase f, pi minus x, right, by definition, will be f of x. This is can be series, right, if you change pi minus x, right? So we tell you that the f, uh, the second derivative of pi minus x is f second derivative of x, right? So if you put x equals zero, then you get the f of zero to the uh, 2k. The even derivative will be exactly 2k pi. Okay, so it tells you that f of 0, uh, capital F, is equal to pi. So it's not 2 pi, it's pi. Okay. So f of 0 plus of f pi is integer. So, so this is our uh, beautiful uh, first fact. Statement 2, or claim 2. Claim two is that uh, it's very uh, strange that the large of capital F is f f double prime f to the four, right? So let's 
derivative is s. The second derivative is double prime minus f to the four minus f to the six plus f to the uh for right two first six right so if you add this right then every this turn cancel so you get f okay 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 so uh we can use this to derive another uh, strange things uh what should we say okay so the next string strange things that uh let's say f prime sine of x minus f cosine of x uh now uh, let's check what is derivative okay so it's f double prime sine minus f prime cosine minus f right sine uh let's say so the cosine derivative is minus sine right uh sorry sorry uh let me see so it's f so the first turn is uh is f double prime sine uh plus f prime cosine okay yeah, yeah sorry okay so this turn sorry about this so it's about f double prime sine plus f prime cosine minus f prime cosine uh, plus f prime f sine right okay so so you get f double prime plus f sine which is capital f a small f lowercase f sine right Ooh, so we are close to something close to close okay so from here we know that uh that's f of x suppose we do f of x sine x dx okay so this is a very uh, crucial step that uh, will reveal the everything okay so first notice that f of x sine x is a positive fun function right because f of x is positive because pi is a divided by b and i only from zero to pi right so for each turn is always positive uh except for the except for boundary so this is terms i must greater or equal to zero and uh i i can do it i can compute this right because i know that it's, this is f larger f prime minus f cosine right dx so it's f prime x minus f cosine from pi to zero so this turns zero because sine pi is sine zero zero. So this is f pi plus f of zero, right? So we see that uh, right. This is cosine x, right? So pi is negative one, cosine pi is negative one. So it's uh, f of pi, f of zero is f of zero, right? Okay. So okay. So which tell you that since f of pi, f of zero, and f of pi is integer. And then we also know this is greater equal to zero, so that's quickly goes go to the final step. So let me combine all these. Okay, so the first one, f of zero plus f i for pi, is integer, right? And the second, somebody tells us that uh, this this special integral, right, will be f of zero plus f of pi. And then somebody tells us that this is greater or equal to zero, uh, larger than zero, right? So f of 0 and f of pi should be a natural number so it's some integer greater or equal to 0 okay so greater than 0 okay so exactly so much greater than 0 right so it's a positive integer okay but uh what we have is what well, we have this this right so x to n pi minus sorry a minus b x to n factorial Okay, so if we do the do the error analysis, right? Uh, this integral will less than this one, right? So original integral will less than this one, and uh, I can approximate. I can bounce sign by one, right? So this is this, and f is already positive, and then from zero to pi, right? So this x to the n can be must be less than pi n, a n, sorry, the pi n, pi n. And this turn I can ignore this b, right? So it becomes this one, n factorial at dx. So I just try to bound this f, then I get a pi n a n, n factorial pi plus one. Okay, so now everything becomes trouble, right? Because this is f zero plus f of pi. So if one choose n larger enough, right? And if n is larger enough. 
pi n plus one a n divided by n factorial, right? Can go to can the be arbitrary small, right? Because n factorial dominates once you fix a. Okay, so f zero plus f pi cannot be a positive integer, which leads us to the contradiction. So finally, we know that pi is irrational. Okay, so uh, that's the whole proof. So I think everyone knows about the trick, right? So we first do something and uh, create some of the capital F and then check that uh, this gives us the contradiction. Okay, now we'll see you guys in the next videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel.